whether it's improving how your body looks or how your body moves, training the core is a really important uh, aspect to any strength and conditioning program. But how we train them for aesthetics and performance is very different. Uh, what we want to look at for aesthetics when we're training the core is we want to try to improve our body composition. We want to reduce our fat, we want to increase our lean muscle mass. Okay? And we want to choose movements that put us through a high time under tension. So the hoped for goal is to increase muscular stamina in uh, the core and as a result we will have an improved body composition. Training for athletic performance is going to be a little bit different. Our end goal is to be an improvement or have an improvement in efficiency and effectiveness of movement. Efficiency meaning you can move from point A to point B smoothly and without risk of injury. Effectively meaning you can perform the movement from point A to point B, period. Okay? Usually it's going to be on a field of play, so some kind of sporting event is what we're looking for, and we're looking for improved performance of the core. Unlike in the aesthetics when we're training the core, we're looking to make our core go through cycles of activation and relaxation. So the core has to turn on and off equally as powerfully and quick. What we're looking for in our performance improvement is increased power. Let's take a look at the three movements that I think pack a powerful punch for improved body composition, specifically targeting the core. And then let's take a look at three movements that I think are really beneficial to improve the core's performance for improved play on the athletic field.